Have you spoken with your father recently? He called, but I did not pick up. So you set a boundary. I do notice you have a kitten hidden in your purse. Were you hiding it from me? I think our hour is up. Oh, you finally called me back. You got kicked out of your home, didn't you? Be sure to send us a postcard from whatever jail cell you end up in. Oh, please. Dad needs a place to stay. Last time Dad stayed with me, the FBI followed me to work for a week. I would take him, but he's a horrible example for Henry. Does this mean I'll get to see you guys? No, I would put him on a plane. I'm not driving that heat cross country. But I'd like to spend some time with you two. Absolutely not. Your grandfather's got a green thumb. <sighs> That's really illegal. Oh, you sound like your mother. I can't unload it on my own. I'll help you. Did you change my navigation? He gave me $20. Henry! Hey! Who are these people? Old friends of your grandfather's. I've got dinner almost home. And the guest room sheets have barely been slept in. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. No, we cannot take any more dogs. You're like the Pied Piper of Maine. I don't know why he complained about Jack so much. I like him. Don't hurt my kid. I got through it, but he's different. Your mom's not going to like to know who that's going to. Who? Your father. I want to see him. No. Why well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? He's the worst possible man for me. I tell Misty that all the time. Please tell me Misty's your cat. You want me to tell you Misty's my cat? Who is she? My cat. She's your wife, isn't she? She is. Oh. I have set a boundary. Hello. It's a line in the sand, in the concrete, actually. Good morning. The family, that's all there is. I used to be able to make you laugh. Oh, Dad. <laughs> See? I still laugh. I thought you were a Buddhist. Oh, I am. But you bring out the right-wing Christian in me.